Bienvenue guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing some stew chateau. Now chateau is Creole for octopus and that's what I have right here. So we're gonna jump right into the recipe. The first thing I'm gonna do is pour the octopus in there with the water. Now I got the octopus from the Asian supermarket. Let me just show you guys. And it was um, pretty much cleaned. So for octopus, you have to clean out everything that is in here, in the head area. It's supposed to be hollow by the time you're done cleaning it. So I pretty much just had to wash it out. I used some lime and some vinegar because sometimes the tentacles can tend to be a bit slimy. So I had to clean it out and in this type of way, this is the way that I was washing it out. Now the beak is usually somewhere here. So you have to, if it's not cleaned out, you have to remove the beak. The eyes were removed as well. So there were no eyes on here when I bought it. The beak was out and inside here was cleaned. So I am going to add a little bit more water and then we're going to continue. So in all, I have about seven to eight cups of water. I just need enough water to cover everything. Next, I'm going in with my salt. After the salt, I'm gonna go in with these lime slices. I am going to cover my pressure cooker. These are going to pressure cook initially for 30 minutes. Now, if after 30 minutes it is not soft enough, I'm going to put it in for an additional 15 to 20 minutes. So next, I'm going to show you guys how it looks 30 minutes later. So guys, the octopus is done pressure cooking. I allowed it to cool down. And here it is. I did save some of that water that it boiled in because it has the flavors in there. So what I'm gonna do now is to cut them up in one to two inch pieces. Okay. No fancy cuts or anything, you just cut. I wish they had the bigger ones though. That's what I wanted really. But these will do. So it's all cut now and we're gonna go over to the stove to start our stew. So in here I have about about four tablespoons of butter. So I'm just having it melt and I did put in some olive oil. So it's all melted and the first thing I'm going in with is what takes the longest to cook which is carrots and Christophine. My heat is on medium to low. I'm gonna cover the pot and allow this to go for about five to seven minutes. And then I'll be right back with you guys. So in here I had bell peppers, onion, scallion, I also had pimento peppers, I'm going to be adding some garlic, and here's my garlic. 
Now the base for this sauce is going to be ketchup. So I'm going in with my ketchup. And some hot water. Now we're going to flavor the sauce. Going in with some thyme. I was unable to get any more fresh thyme. I don't know how come they're out of it. My black pepper. A little bit of saison. I know some people pronounce it sazon, but in Dominica we say saison. Just a little. And some salt. I'm going to allow this to go for three to five minutes. And once it starts simmering, we're going to go in with our octopus. Okay, so this has come to a simmer. Oops, a slight bubble. And we're going to go in with that octopus. Let it go for 10 to 15 minutes. Okay, guys. So my stew chateau slash octopus is all done. I'm just going to top it off with some parsley for garnishing. But it is all done, guys. Yep. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you love this video and you like my content, don't forget to subscribe and do remember to have a good day on purpose. Bye.